Welcome back to the first distillation of Molecular Playground. Today, we're going to be making white fuming nitric acid. This is the second highest purity nitric acid there is after red fuming nitric acid. Now, it is less pure than anhydrous nitric acid, but it can still do plenty of things like uh, nitrations, nitrolysis, which makes explosives like RDX and HMX, aromatic nitrations too, like for making trinitrotoluene. Today, I'm going to show you how to make white fuming nitric acid. The materials you'll need are sodium nitrate, sulfuric acid, and 34% hydrogen peroxide. To start, you need 850 grams of sodium nitrate. This corresponds roughly to 10 moles of sodium nitrate. You also want to make sure you've roasted this prior to use, as sodium nitrate can absorb water from the atmosphere. After a large addition, pour in some sulfuric acid to keep the reaction intimate. Then you want to keep adding more, then repeat. You keep doing this until it all gets in. Eventually it all fits. After you've added your sodium nitrate and your sulfuric acid, you're going to notice this little yellow brown haze over there. That's actually some of the nitrogen dioxide being released because this reaction is already going. Now we just have to heat it up to get our nitric acid. Whenever you're assembling a distillation system, it's important to lubricate your joints. However, since we're working with caustics, we have to lubricate with sulfuric acid, not mineral oil. If you lubricate with mineral oil, you risk destroying it and possibly building tar on your joints. And the last thing you want is your joints permanently stuck together. Now that we've got our distillation set up and we have our heat on, we're now just going to watch and wait for the nitric acid to fall. Once your reaction starts going, you're going to need to make some modifications. The first thing you need to do is wrap your flask in tin foil. This will insulate heat and shield it from light, which can break down your nitric acid into nitrogen dioxide. You also want to put an ice pack in your water basin. This will keep it cold and your nitric acid will spend less time in the vapor phase. A few hours later, let's see how our reaction looks. In our reaction vessel, you can clearly see the formation of sodium sulfate crystals. In our receiving flask, you will notice this honey-colored puddle almost, and that's our nitric acid produced so far. It's definitely close to halfway, but not quite there. Let's see how it looks tomorrow morning. It's been almost a day. Let's see how our reaction looks like. In a reaction flask, there's nothing but a sodium sulfate rock. All of the sodium nitrate has either become nitric acid or nitrogen dioxide, as you can see by that red gas. In our receiving flask, you can see that a lot of nitric acid is in there, but we don't know how much the volume is yet until we pour it out. If you look at that, that's just shy of 350 milliliters. Now, the ideal volume would be 417 milliliters, which roughly translates to 10 moles of nitric acid, but this is very good too. However, to know our exact yield, we need to measure it. 584 grams. Now, if we subtract away the beaker and do some fancy math, we come out with 7.7 .7 moles of nitric acid. That is a 77% yield. Very good. Not bad, I would hope it would be better, but still, very good. A lot of nitric acid for what we did. The only thing we need to do now is just process it. To do this, you want to put hydrogen peroxide in it, specifically 34%. You also want to freeze this prior to doing it, because if not, it can reflux into a terrible red fuming mess. So, I'm just going to put a little bit. And just like that, it completely clarified. And this is because the nitrogen dioxide that's in it was completely oxidized into nitric acid. Now, hydrogen peroxide can also decompose nitric acid into nitric oxide, but because we had an excess of nitrogen dioxide, that shouldn't be a problem. Now that we have our clarified nitric acid, we're gonna pour it into our old stock and maybe it may even clarify our old stock. Well, what do you know?
And just like that, we have made white fuming nitric acid.